We have got some massive news when it comes to one of the big MMOs coming out in 2025. Arcage 2 is now no longer Arcage 2, it's actually Arcage Chronicles, and I think that's a great change, and I think there's a lot of reasons that some of you should pay attention, especially if you're from a new world background. Let's jump in, let's talk about the information, let's go. So at the Sony event last night, there was a trailer for Arcage Chronicles. Now my initial reaction to seeing that was one of confusion because at that time I didn't realize that it was simply a rebranding of Arcage 2. They've changed the name and I think the name change is one of the best things they could have done because for all intents and purposes the way that Kakao and XL Games were talking about Arcage 2 it sounded absolutely nothing like Arcage 1. It sounded like it was going to be a mostly PvE solo kind of vibe. And that's fundamentally different from what Arcade 1 was, which I never actually played, but I believe, you know, it was Tab Target first and foremost, where Arcade Chronicles is a action combat game. And I think it had more like open world PvP and that kind of stuff. So I think rebranding it now sets it apart from Arcade, the first one. And I think that's a good decision because I think people would have played Arcade 2 expecting it to be a sequel, even a spiritual sequel and it sort of sounded like neither. So Arcade Chronicles is a good rebranding, a good name change. Now, the trailer itself was filmed on a PlayStation 5, and it's confirmed, by the way, that this game is going to Xbox, PlayStation, and PC. The reason it's filmed on PlayStation for this trailer is because it was at a PlayStation event. But I would say that the graphics on the PS5 is looking good, so I'm quite optimistic about how this will look on PC. I mentioned at the start that the people who are interested in New World might want to pay attention to this game, and that's because this game is going to be action combat, and it's also, weirdly, a little bit about how they are now marketing the game. On the blog, for example, they refer to it as an online action RPG. But don't worry, they're not completely ditching the the idea that this is an MMO. In fact, on the Steam page, for example, they mention MMORPG a couple of times. They say, join the adventure in Arcade Chronicles and experience the next evolution of the MMORPG genre. I mean, I guess technically they're not saying it's an MMORPG. They're saying it's something even better. Yeah, well, time will prove that right or wrong, I guess. But I think this aligns with the direction of the game. If we looked at everything that they'd said beforehand about it possibly being more solo story based kind of game rather than like mass PVP in giant guilds and that kind of stuff, then this slight rebranding absolutely makes sense. Now, before we talk about the actual features that the game is going to offer, I do want to say this game is now apparently scheduled for 2025. At the end of the trailer, that's the date that they give, and you can actually go and wishlist it on Steam right now. Now, there's a bit of a question there because the timing doesn't really align. We saw in Kakao's financials that Chrono Odyssey looked like it was going to come before Arcade 2, and Chrono Odyssey looked like it would be late 2025. So who knows when they're going to come? Maybe it'll be before Chrono Odyssey, maybe it'll be after. I have no idea right now. But it's planned for 2025 and that's exciting because, you know, it's a big brand, big MMO, one to look forward to, I think. Now, what can you actually expect when you play this game? Well, as I said, the first thing is probably action combat. Looking at the trailer, it looks absolutely fantastic. In every trailer, the combat is looking good. Sort of reminds me a little bit of BDO, not played BDO, so I'm not saying it is very similar, but the graphics and the feel just give me that kind of vibe. Overall, I'm very much excited about the idea of action combat. I think one reason that a lot of these action combat games are moving away from like mass PvP is that I think New World showed a lot of the difficulties that you have in PvP with action combat. Primarily, I think with desync, but you know, there's other reasons as well, like how fast is the combat, how easy it is for other people to pick up. I think that's why we're moving away from this mass PvP. I suspect there will be a little bit of PvP in this game because previously they said there would be some guild v guild PvP, but it's definitely not the focus. With this action combat, it looks like it's mostly going to be PvE. But they do say you're going to be able to jump, fall, roll, dash, block, parry, and no matter what your playstyle is, you'll be able to find high quality combat in this game. Sounds fun. Now, it does seem like they are going to be having quite a few professions in here and trade skills. There's going to be hunting, gathering, there's going to be a housing system, but obviously details on that are very limited at the moment. There's going to be farming and indeed crafting. And to reiterate that this is a proper MMO, they do say explore an open world of unparalleled freedom. And you can embark on thrilling trading runs, which sort of suggests that PvP caravans 
will be in the game, but it might be PvE. I think the thrilling part of that probably suggests it'll be PvP. The game apparently will also feature epic large-scale raids with cooperative gameplay. Now, they do actually mention 10 people or more working in Synergy, so I don't know if the raids are going to scale or if they're just going to be 10 people or there's going to be bigger raids. They don't really say. There's some additional screenshots on the Sony blog, and I have to say, everything is looking very, very nice indeed. And don't get me wrong, I know some of your concerns already. Yes, this is a Korean MMO being published and probably made by Kakao. It's actually made by XL Games, who I think are a subsidiary of Kakao. And I know a lot of you will be like, don't they make pay to win games? The answer is in the past, yes. Will this game be pay to win? I have absolutely no idea. But it's not unreasonable to think there'll at least be some kind of element to that in the game. That's fair enough. We'll have to wait and see. They do say that there's going to be more details in the coming days. If there's anything really super fascinating, I will come and make a follow up video to this because quite frankly, this is one of the most exciting games of 2025, in my opinion. This and Chrono Odyssey, both action combat MMORPGs, both very exciting to me. I know a lot of people are excited for New World Eternum and maybe when you're done with that, maybe the focus will start shifting a little bit to Arcade Chronicles or maybe Chrono Odyssey. And coming in 2025, that really did catch me a little bit by surprise. The rebrand and the 2025 caught me a little bit by surprise, but I'm very happy for it. I'm very much excited. I would like even more specific details, but I, I suspect when it comes to the date, the date will be towards the end of 2025. As for gameplay details, yeah, I'm excited to see whatever Kakao and XL games want to give me. I know for a lot of people, there's some red flags with this, Kakao, etc. and the pay to win, but I'm definitely excited to see it when it comes. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Have a most beautiful day. Like and subscribe. Goodbye.